so the parliament was negotiating with an institution that wanted to destroy every word that could possibly defend net neutrality. And the issue was complicated by the fact that net neutrality and roaming were part of the same package. So the council's negotiating position was, look, Parliament, we don't care whether this regulation gets adopted or it doesn't get adopted. So either we come to some sort of compromise or the European Parliament gets the blame for failing to achieve net neutrality and it gets the blame for the roaming provisions not being adopted and people continuing to have to pay for roaming when they go on their holidays. There is a very big question open that I wouldn't like to uh, provide a, an opinion on as regards whether we would have been better off with nothing at all rather than the text that's on the table at the moment because the situation in the Netherlands is less good than it was before. The situation in Slovenia is less good than it was before. One could have hoped for net neutrality laws in countries like Austria. So the tide was turning in favor of good net neutrality laws on a national basis. So are we better off getting a wishy-washy agreement on a European level at the moment, which has the potential to deliver net neutrality, or should we have hung on? So the Parliament made its decision, and that's why the Parliament ultimately adopted a text which is far weaker than, than the first reading. The general problem of that process is that it has no specific end date. Different players were producing different compromise proposals every few days, and any one of them could have been the last one. And if we didn't respond quickly and correctly and thoroughly to every one of them, that one might have been the one that finished the process.